Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy. Today we are going to do the very last Dutch door spread in my creative journal. We are almost done decorating this whole thing. So this will be the third one that I have completed and an entire year of journaling in dot grid notebooks. So super fun. But first we have some new things here to look at and we're gonna unbox them. They're all from Wrong Wrong. So thank you to Wrong Wrong for sending these to me. And I will give you all the details of the release and when it's available, might be available now. Not sure, but I'll link and list everything down below. Don't forget code Amy plans things to save 10% if you choose to shop. All right, so we'll set that aside first and take a look at all of this. There are two sticker books coming out and then this. This is a PET or pet tape storage album. Super cool, but first I just want to show you Look how tiny these little discs are. They're so cute. They're the smallest discs I've ever seen. But this is designed to store your pet tapes. So it basically is these long little storage places to put all your bits of pet tape in. So what I would do probably is continue to store my wrong wrong pet tape on these rolls but if like I use a bunch of it and then have like pieces I would cut it here so it's not all sitting on here and having so much empty space and stick it in here you also could take this apart and cut loops of it um, a loop is from the beginning of the, the design to the last design before it repeats and cut loops of it and put them in here so you can easily just grab one loop so a lot of different ways you could use this. You could use it with other PET tapes too, not just wrong, wrong ones. You could organize it into like Christmas ones and Valentine's ones and have them all organized by season so they're easy to grab. A lot of different things. So this is pretty cool. It comes with a bunch of pages on it. Let's see, does it say how many pages it comes with? No, but it looks like it's at least 10 or 20. I'm not going to count them right now, but it is a great book to organize your pet tapes if you're finding that you need something for keeping them together in. Okay, two sticker books. I need to figure out which one we're going to use today for the very last spread in this notebook. Okay, so this is the Let's Go Girls premium sticker book. I love these ladies on here. Okay. So this is very glam cowgirl. I love how sparkly it all seems. Kind of disco ball. Super cute. Definitely kind of gives me good like New Year's vibes because of all the black and silver. So I may want to use these for some like New Year's Eve type spreads. <laughs> this is a cute washi strip, you guys. In my cowgirl era. Nice. I love all the women that Rong Rong has been drawing lately. <laughs> These are the cutest little stickers. They're for, I use them for like checklists and things, but I love that they're not just dots. Those are so fun. All right. Washi strips, you know, those are so important for my dot grid notebook. These fit wonderfully with an A5 notebook. I need to try some other sizes out. Look at this. This is just paper, uh, like washi paper. So it's sticker paper, but you can tear it any way you want or cut it any way you want um, to use. Definitely gonna be doing some like New Year's vibes with these, even though it's cowgirl, but that's what I'm feeling, I think. <laughs> All right, so the first half of the sticker book is always paper stickers, and the last half is more like the clear plasticky stickers with the big designs on them. So first half like functional, second half decorative.
so, so fun, you guys. <laughs> what would Dolly do? Yes, love it. All right, so there's that sticker book. And then the other one coming out is the Glam Babe sticker book. <laughs> All right. Love the little mascara swatch. <laughs> so lots of makeup, lots of getting ready. I love the colors in this one. The like browns and pinks and beiges. So pretty. Okay. Love, love, love. Sorry I'm late, but do you see this makeup? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Lots of little makeup pieces. There's always some good boxes and some good decorative boxes in here and some pre-layered stickers for you if you're short on time. These are great for decorating your planner. All right, a bunch of washi strips and some really nice quotes. Great, love the quotes. All right, and then we get into the decorative stickers. Here are a bunch of makeup palettes. These are gonna be great for Dutch doors because these are all very symmetrical. Um, you're going to be able to use them on both sides. Oh, I love that one. So much fun, you guys. Super cool. <laughs> Alright, and then some quotes with the designs. And then just some makeup splotches. Cool. Okay. So I think we're going to use this one because this one really screams more like New Year's to me. It's not a November uh, sticker book for me, I don't think. So we're going to do this one. And as I said, we are all the way back here. We have just this many pages left and then it's the back so we're gonna do two dutch doors in here today and then go from there all right so we could just do kind of waterfall tabs with these but also there are just some really fabulous stickers in here so i think we're not gonna do that i need to figure out like this is beautiful, but I don't know how we would do the back side of that one too easily. So let me think on that. Well, I kind of just love it, so we're gonna make it happen. I love this sticker. Okay, so we want to be able to have two sets of washi or er, Dutch doors here. So we're gonna put this one here. And we're gonna figure out the back side of it. <laughs> but with this, because this is a lot going on. I like this one. We're going to grab this washi strip and start it here. We're going to have to cut part of it so that um, we can get a nice edge right there so it's not over the mirror at all. I think the mirror comes up a little bit, but I'm just going to cut this first to see what's going on <laughs> and then trim because I don't want to trim too much. Oops, just ripped the bottom of that. So we are gonna, you know what? I think we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna shift it or we're gonna leave it. I think, 
Can we lift this up? Yes, we can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is follow the same cut that I just made so that I kind of have it cut already, but pull it up and move it down. These stickers do luckily get removed pretty easily. Okay. So now the tricky part is gonna be lining this up because it wants to curl. All right, stay here. There we go. Look at that. Okay, there's our washi strip. <laughs> Just took a moment. All right, I'm gonna put this back. We might be able to use it later. Okay, so for the Dutch door, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it, and then we're gonna figure out how to make the backside work. It'll be an experiment today, but I just really love that sticker a lot. And guys, I am not like a glam person at all with my two kids and all of that, like I'm rarely wearing makeup and like I do my eyebrows every day, but that's basically it most of the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I do love glam pictures and things like that. And when I do get to dress up, it's really fun. All right, so we're using my gyro cut here to cut around all the edges. There we go. Okay, so now <laughs> we gotta figure out what to do here. So we're just gonna pick up some things. We could do like a whole bunch of little makeups in a row, but let's see if there's anything else that might like sort of fit first. See like, except she would have to be lower. That one's not gonna work. I'm just pulling stickers and trying them and seeing what we can come up with. Nope. She might actually fit there if we can figure out something to go there. Oh, this is a lovely big sticker too. But no, we are gonna find something. We are gonna make it work. Just playing, you guys. We are just playing with stickers and figuring things out. You know, I wonder. One work? No. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's get back down sort of close to where it was. But this one, that actually does okay. We're gonna do that and put a little bit more makeup up above, kind of like more spilling out because we have that whole page of makeup. Okay, that'll work. See, we've got all of these, so we'll just continue kind of laying some smaller things out like that. that one and I think we'll call that good we will need another washi strip right here the one we used won't have enough left so let's grab something here I'm loving this one 
And I think it actually will work really well just to start it right like that. All right, trim that a little bit more. Maybe. <laughs> And we have the first Dutch door done. Now we need to figure out what we can do for the second Dutch door. And maybe I can think a little bit more about something that might be symmetrical. No, but they need to be opposite sides for this, I wonder. Close, except for right there. If you ever want to know if things are going to line up, you can, like that lines up, except we'll have to cut off part of this because it'll stick out. Okay, we're just going to put this back over here. It's not where it goes, but all right. I do love this one. And if we do her on the front, can we find something that sticks out like that? Or do we again just do a whole bunch of little makeups and things on the back side because that worked out too. Like we could get the blow dryer sticking out like that. Or get this person. That might work a little bit. Okay, I think we have some options. So we're gonna put her down I want to be able to see her when this is closed. Put her there. And we need the washi strip to come. Put the hand here so I can come back to this page just in case. The washi strip should go right next to that. I like the beauty is an attitude washi strip. We're going to have to first make sure we're lining it up in the right spot. And next, I want to make sure that I'm getting all of beauty as an attitude on this section. Okay. Got to actually put it down. Okay, so here's where it starts. And... That's where the foot ends. That worked pretty well. And then since this is starting to have a little bit of the uh, silver sparkles, oh, but then she goes there. We can't do that side. Let's go ahead and do this side will fit right there. And again, need to try to figure out where her head is so we can just get right up to the edge. Good enough. This is so cute, you guys. Alright, so gyro cut works well for all these curvy parts, and then I'm going to use the scissors on the rest of it. there to trim. 
Okay, now will my idea of this one girl with her feet up work or not? I don't know. And let's see if we... No, does not work at all, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. Just putting this back down first. Cutting off this bit. Okay. We have options. I'm just double checking that there's nothing that sticks out that's going to be absolutely perfect. I don't think there is. So we're just going to start placing things down and making it work. This I want to put down, but maybe we'll get this in the gap because there's a little space there. Let's see. These are pretty tiny, so I don't want anything that's too big that looks a little weird with it. But we're just going to put some makeup in, and the makeup might be a little bit bigger. But that's okay. I think that'll be a good amount of just little collage stuff. And we need to pick out one more washi strip for this bottom part. And then we've got our Dutch doors done. So this one... Let's go ahead. This is not long enough, so we won't do that one. Just go ahead and use this color. And again, we just need to trim the littlest bit. Alright, so our Dutch doors are done, but as I always say, I love to have this part and then this part decorated. And one thing that I've loved doing recently is having some washi tapes on the very outside because it just helps it come together quicker. <laughs> so all these extra washi strips are so helpful from Wrong Wrong Sticker Books. I can just put them down like this and then I just have that much less to decorate and think about. You can also use washi tapes that you have to fill in the gaps and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to do this one. Making sure it's right up next to the other one. I don't want any gaps. I'm going to do the same on the other side before we figure out how to fill the last little bits. All right, and because I put this text going that way, I'm going to put this text going that way as well so that it can be the same thing. Okay, don't get stuck too far out or too far in though. I want it right on the edge. All right, and we're going to trim it all just in a second. <laughs> just getting them all down first. All right, there we go. And so, as you can see, again, here, there's just a little gap as well. So we are going to figure that out in a moment. Sticker bits everywhere, you guys. Okay. Turning it over can be helpful so you can see uh, where you're cutting so you don't cut some of the page off. I will have one more page to decorate in my 
spread or in my journal here this one but it won't be a dutch door spread so this is the last dutch door spread maybe i'll just do like a sticker page in the back like sometimes i love just doing what i call a sticker explosion and just putting stuff everywhere and having positive quotes and all sorts of things so that's always fun okay let's see sometimes oh wait first i love to make the corners rounded i just think they look nicer so we're gonna do that with every corner that we have this one is too close to do so i'm gonna do that one by hand in a second do we want to round this one even we don't want to round this one because it's got the image there Sometimes I need to view it from the other way. Come on, all the sticker pieces. Come on out of there. Okay. Fix that one up in a second. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to make that a little smoother right there. That one had a few hiccups. And then this one... I'm gonna try to sort of round close enough. <laughs> All right, now we'll look to see if maybe there's one more washi strip because that would be the easiest thing there are usually one or two more washi strips hidden throughout all these pages like right there. Um, the only question is, is that too similar? Let's see what else we've got and then decide. So got this one, but it's short. Okay, so we're gonna do this washi strip over here because it is very similar to this one. And I'm gonna do it this way instead of this way because we've got this same color. So we're kind of swapping it just to give it a little more definition, I think. Again, trying not to make it, you know, have a big gap that shows white through in between the cracks. Good enough. <laughs> All right, so then this one is completely covered up. This one, there's more space, and I think we've got to do a set of stickers. The question is, do I do box stickers, which I can line up perfectly, or do I do, like, the girls and things, but there'll be a little bit of white space? I think... I'm gonna do the box stickers for this one because I'm really liking this one. I'm just gonna do it like that. And then I like this one. Since we're doing just all images right now, let's go ahead and do this one too. No text on it, just to go with it. And that is not quite long enough to pull down here for the bottom part. So we'll need to pick another sticker. Maybe just that one, the tip top of it. I don't want to use that one and waste part of it. Okay, so yeah, we'll just use the top of this one and then we can save the rest of it. All right, so you can leave it at that if this is gonna be your journal, you don't have to do anything else. But of course, I love stickers. I love putting all the things in. 
So look how cute that looks. That's great. Okay, so we are gonna do some boxes and things like that. Let's start back here and grab the pre-layered boxes that Rong Rong already has for us, which are here. I'm putting them towards the back because I wanna use the bigger boxes on the wider pages. These have less space. So what I'm gonna do is put this one all the way up to there and try to get that in right there. And then I'm gonna cut off just the edge of the sticker because I don't want it going over and poking out right there. So it's gonna go right up to the washi strip. Okay, that was not a clean cut at all. We're gonna fix that one up in a second. <laughs> Some people have good luck using tweezers for all this kind of stuff and picking things up. I have never figured out how to use tweezers well, so that's why I do it like this and use my nail. It does make my nails chip more quickly after doing them. All right, there's one more really wide one of these pre-layered things. Let's figure out where to put it. It could go down here. I don't think it's gonna work to go on the same page. It could go right here. I don't mind this going over this side because it doesn't get in the way of this layered side. So yeah, let's do it like that. Again, trying to get it right in the corner or seam right there. And just a tiny bit to trim off. So this is a really quick, easy way to get some boxes on your page and then also have space for writing. People ask me what I put in my boxes in my journal. And I really put like the best part of the day or the most, um, the most memorable part, memorable, can I speak? The most memorable part of the day into these boxes and then write about other things in this section. looking really good we have one pre-layered box on each page and we can add a couple more boxes here and there for you know everything else so I love that she has all this stuff so we can come up with our own kind of boxes and things like that so I'm gonna grab these I'm gonna grab this one and we'll start here so I'm gonna put this right here and put this one here across the page and get this one right here and then because I love having at least one or two boxes here and since we have some circles let's also put this one right there and so the ones that go across the page it's just going to be whichever half is the larger half that's going to be what I decide that I use it for so like this is one day this is another day so I'll put the date here for this day and like put something here for this side if that makes sense all right here let's grab those and this one will work. And then I saw earlier, oh, these are more, more little swatches to layer. I saw a little swoosh like that somewhere. We're gonna put it on after I do all this stuff, so let's just put these down anyways. Here's the little swoosh. That really wanted to stick to me. Okay, I feel like this could have a little bit of silver because there's kind of the silver here. 
So we're gonna put this one right there. All right. And then very last set of boxes right here. Since we've used up the entire page, we of course need to use that one. And then I like this big sticker. Stickers everywhere. Okay, let's also bring in a little bit of brown. And do we have another circle sticker since we've been doing circles everywhere? We might be out of the circles. Oh, good, we have a circle. Okay. <laughs> Stickers everywhere. This kind of fits right there just because that cord was sticking off into, you know, nowhere. So we've got that. I kind of like this one here, which means then I have to find a spot for this one. Maybe down like this. Okay. So we've got a small circle and larger sticker on every single page, but some of them have a very large sticker or a medium large sticker. So there we go. I think we are done. As a reminder, the sticker book is available now or soon. All the details are listed down below in the description. Code Amy Plans Things will save you 10% at Wrong Wrong. Thanks so much for watching the very last Dutch door spread in my creative journal. We will do a full flip through as soon as I am done writing in all these pages. This will last me through November, so it'll happen sometime in December. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.